How are you guys? I'm sure you're doing well. So I just wanted to check out Nextcloud for myself and I am a complete beginner to both Linux and Nextcloud. I also wanted to self-host both Nextcloud and only Office document server because during my testing the built-in Nextcloud office and document server was a hit or miss for me and I also did not want to use docker and configure things myself. Now I might not know how to properly configure these applications so I figured things out by trial and error but I did manage to solve some major problems. Let's open the terminal and check the status of httpd service which is our apache server by typing this command. Now I am logged in as a root user so that I don't need to type my password again and again. If the service is inactive, start it by entering this command and check the status again and it should be up and running. Now let's check the status of nginx service by entering this command. If the service is inactive, start it by entering this command. And as you can see, it is failing to start. Now as far as I know, and correct me if I am wrong, the reason for this is that both the services, which in our case are nginx and httpd, which is apache, are web server which by default listens on the same port which is 80. And one port can only be used by one service at a time. So if we check which port is being used by which service, by entering this command, we can see that port 80 is being used by httpd, which is apache web server. If we check port 81 is used by which service, we can see that port 81 is also being used by httpd. And if we check port 82, it is not being used by any services. So in our case, port 80 is being used by httpd and my next cloud is listening on that port. You will see this in later part of the video. Port 81 is also being used by httpd, so we cannot install only office document server on that port. Also, during my testing, I found out that it is recommended that Nextcloud and only Office should be installed on different systems. I don't know how much of it is true, but there are workarounds to this like virtual hosts or reverse proxies. Again, correct me if I am wrong, but we are going to use port 82 for our only Office document server installation. I also checked that if I stop both the services and start Nginx first, it still failed. Interchanging the ports between services also did not work. Ok, so first step is stop both of the services if they are running and then modify the configuration files. You can either go through the terminal by entering the path to the file and then editing it with any text editor. Or you can browse the file in file manager and then edit it using terminal window in that same path. I am using the default nano text editor which Fedora comes with. Find and change the port to 81 where listening port is written. If it is commented, uncomment it by removing the hash. Press Ctrl plus O then press enter to save and then press Ctrl plus X to exit. When modifying the configuration file for nginx, I found out that it partially works but still causes problems for unknown reason. Then I figured that you need to modify two separate files with same port numbers for this to work properly. First, let's modify the configuration file by again following the same step with either one of the methods.
Again, find and change the poll to 82 where listening port is written. If it is commented, uncomment it by removing the hash. Press Ctrl plus O, then press Enter to save, and then press Ctrl plus X to exit. The second file is located at a different path and you will need to be logged in as a root user to modify it. You can type sudo su for logging in as a root user in terminal. Find and change the poll to 82 where listening poll is written. Press Ctrl plus O, then press Enter to save, and then press Ctrl plus X to exit. Now let's start HTTPD and check the status. And start Nginx and check the status. Great, both of the services are working now. Let's check all the ports again. Now open any browser and type localhost colon 18 to access Nextcloud. Localhost colon 81 to Apache web server. Localhost colon 82 to only office document server. Now this might not be a perfect solution you're looking for and further configuration is needed in order to make this setup functional. Just so you know, I'm not planning to switch to Nextcloud since I don't really need it and it takes huge amount of time and effort for a beginner to set things up. FYI, I'm a computer science graduate. Don't ask me how and why. Anyways, maybe you guys can help each other out. Let me know if this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.